Hello. In the last quarter, Indonesia and the Philippines continue to lead the economic growth in ASEAN, expanding at 6.5% and 5.3% in 2012 respectively. The strong gains in Indonesia and the Philippines are expected to carry on into 2013, growing at above the expected average of 5.7% among the six ASEAN nations. While inflation remained fairly benign in 2012, there is rising concern that the low-wage environment in Indonesia, the Philippines and Thailand will be eroded away by the low unemployment, imposition of minimum wages and the general recovery in these economies. Now, on the back of their positive fundamentals, the real estate markets in Indonesia and the Philippines continue to outshine the rest of ASEAN. The office sector led the Indonesian rental market, expanding at 7.9% quarter-on-quarter, ahead of the residential market at 3.4%. Occupier demand came largely from banking, insurance, professional financial services, telco and the traditional oil and gas industries. This lift in corporate demand not only supported leasing, but had also reefed up capital market activities in the office and residential sectors. Both asset classes saw capital values expanding at 9.4% and 6.5% respectively. This is the strongest we have seen across Southeast Asia this quarter. While rising consumerism among the growing middle-income group supported the domestic retail market, strong competition from new retail malls kept rents effectively flat. Aside from Manila, which saw gains in all asset classes, Bangkok market also showed strong gains on the back of recovering demand. Bangkok office rents expanded at 3.8% quarter-on-quarter, second after Jakarta, while Singapore office market continues to be marked by weak external demand, with small occupiers dominating any remaining demand. Looking ahead, one cannot ignore the interest by the international community on Indonesia. The focus remains on the office market, where demand is likely to outpace supply. We can expect rental and capital appreciation in excess of 20% over the next 12 months. Backed by more expats, rental housing in Jakarta could see similar gains of between 15 to 20% in both the leasing and sales markets. Bangkok office, on the other hand, is likely to see more modest gains at over 5 to 8% in the leasing and investment market over the next 12 months, backed by the longer than expected political stability and general recovery demand. Bangkok retail scene is likely to be weaker, but still robust with an expected growth of between 4 and 6% in the leasing and investment markets. Now, on the Singapore front, the office market is expecting a delayed recovery in light of the uncertain global conditions. This is likely to cap office leasing demand for the first six months to possibly the later half of 2013. Gains are likely to be slower at 1.5 to 2.5% in the leasing and investment market, in line with the recent weaker than expected performance of the local market. Demand is likely to be driven by small occupiers on a relocation or renewal basis. With the recent government policy intervention, high-end residential market is likely to feel the impact with price growth, if any, kept at between 0.5 and 1.5% in 2013.